What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's time to get back on this LS Swap Chronicles, you guys. Now, that means the fuel system. We're tackling the fuel system today in this video just because we need to get that fuel tank up and installed and out of the way. Not to mention we gotta run lines. And also something super important I gotta talk to you guys about is a fuel pump control module from where, you guys? Aeromotive, that's right, Aeromotive. Um, we got something from them that you guys should be running in your guys' um, Hellcat swap pumps. If you guys are running those, we'll talk about it a little bit here in a second. But let me show you what we're working with today. As a matter of fact, I gotta go through some boxes and stuff like that. But we're gonna be doing a tank sink tank. And then we're not doing, we're doing their flow, which is their sending unit. But we're also gonna be doing the Phytech hat for the fuel pump itself. So we got a fuel pump, uh, I should say we have a Phytech fuel pump hat slash module as I like theirs because they have AN fittings on theirs built in. Um, the ones from Tank Sync do not. Now, you guys can order the tanks without them, obviously, or um, Phytech, I believe, sells it with it as well. They sell their tanks with their hats and everything. But we also modified it. Um, we put the Hellcat pump in it as well. So that's one thing that did come with Phytech. You might be able to get it if you ask, I'm not sure. But we ordered that separate as well from Aeromotive. We got the Hellcat pump, uh, Phytech hat, and then obviously the Tank Sink tank. Now, but you're gonna also need, uh, like I said, that fuel pump module. And also we're gonna be coming dash eight lines out. So you're gonna need adapters for the actual hat as well. Let me um, pull the tank out. Let me show you what we're working with and we'll get to the car. Also guys, not to mention giveaway winner. That's right, baby. We're announcing the giveaway winner today. So stay tuned for that. What up dogs? Y'all a bunch of lazy dogs out here sunbathing. Jesus. All right, y'all, we are outside. Got everything kind of laid out here, ready to go. Obviously our tank seeing tank. We got everything already pre-set up. I mean, I, I worked on this the other day. Um, mind you, if you guys need kind of a video on how to kind of set up the tank and the fuel pump and stuff like that, I'll link one down in the description below. But we got our vacuum lines. We kind of want everything to be ready to go before we pop this thing up because we don't want to be messing with anything while it's in, up in the car already. It's just a lot harder. But uh, one big thing is if you guys are running one of these tanks ink tank vacuum line, you got to have the Y the vacuum from the tank, from the fuel pump, and then back out. And then you'll have your little vent nozzle that goes here. And it'll be look something like that guy right there, that little nozzle guy slash vent. You're gonna have to make a bracket for that. Um, obviously, we have our power and ground coming out of there. We made some nice connectors, uh, AN fittings, the works. Now we also got fuel line ready to go. And I do advise you guys I always talk about that stuff. Um, always match your fuel line with the fittings. Never like mismatch them because they're designed to work with each other. So we got dash eight ready to go. All we gotta do is pop this thing on. We're gonna go ahead and throw it on real quick. Uh, it came with new straps as well, so that's kind of nice. Let me go ahead and throw this on real quick. That way you guys see what this thing looks like. And then we'll start plumbing the actual lines with the filter. All it's gonna take is a little YouTube magic, right? Bam, there we go, baby, ready to rock. Look at that, hey guys, do not forget to wrap it up. Look at that, nice and protected, guys. This stuff comes in clutch. If you guys need some of this stuff, you guys know where to go. Hit the website up, you already know we got it in stock. But we got that gas tank ready to go, mounted up, new straps, insulated. Now, we got the fuel lines now to worry about I think we also what I'm gonna uh, do is that we're probably gonna do the fuel pump control module, you guys, on the next video because it, it's a little bit of a involved and I don't want you guys to miss any of it. So, but we can work on the rest of the plumbing on here. We're gonna take obviously dash eight lines, come directly out of there. We're gonna do figure out how we're gonna route those. First thing is we're gonna find a location for this bad boy right here. Yes, sir. Air motive. This is our air motive uh, dash eight um filter we're gonna use this bad boy right here now uh, also got their bracket we're gonna mount it with this guy here uh we're probably gonna look in something like maybe uh something like right there i think i always like to put it where we can get to it right if we got to service this thing um change it out or you know all that good stuff so i'm kind of digging it probably right there what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab it mock it in real quick if we like it there, we'll run it there, obviously. And then you're gonna have your feed line 
going into that and then back out up front and then you're gonna have a return line coming back as well we also got the Aeromotive uh, fuel pressure regulator. I'm a big fan of those. I love them because they have a boost reference as well. So we got to hook that up too, because obviously he's running boost. And if you guys don't know that, when you guys are doing those fuel pressure regulators, you have to have a fuel, uh, I'm sorry, you have to have a boost reference if you're running boost, obviously. So what that does, when it goes into vacuum and it senses that, it gives you more fuel, quote unquote. But um, let's see if we can mock this thing up real quick and I'll be right back sometimes i gotta stop myself because i get carried away now got this thing pretty much in place where we want it to land it's good spot right there serviceable just remember guys that direction flow flow got to go this way fuel coming out that way right so that way it gets filtered now i went ahead and put the fitting guy this one here and this is going to be our feed line right so we're going to come here come out this way i kind of got everything mocked in real quick with some self tappers we'll come back and put some nut inserts in there but i think we're going to go right up to here come around this corner up top through there and then kind of on the back side of that bolt and then you'll have the pressure line on the outside and the feed line if you guys can see i kind of have the fitting in there mocked in so the feed will get a straight we'll put a straight fitting on this guy it'll kind of land like that and then the return will 90 back so that way there's plenty of room for both lines and then we'll run them back through here up and around obviously i still got to put a bracket for this hose up here but we're kind of just mocking things up to see and also get our length of the line as well so we'll go ahead and put the fitting on that side and then we'll put the fitting on the other side over there for the return line that one's going to run all the way up front this is the remainder of the feed. We'll cut that and then put a fitting on that because we're gonna end up coming here and then back up front towards the fuel pressure regulator. Guys, I think I've made you wait long enough. Let's call the winner of the PSI Conversions LS Swap Harness Package. Let me see if he'll answer. As a matter of fact, we're gonna FaceTime. Let's see. Zero, Ooh. Three, two, four, zero, no answer. Nine, two, four, zero. Mm. Not try it again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Man, this guy ain't answering. Eight, zero, answer the three, phone, bro. Four, zero, oh, nine, Lord. Eight. All right. We're going to give it a little bit. We're going to let the time pass a little bit because it's early. Like I said, it is early in my time. Maybe, maybe he's on the same... Uh, quote unquote i know where he's from actually and i know it's a little later but anyways we're gonna we're gonna call him back here call him back just like that you guys we got everything pretty much in obviously besides the fuel pressure regulator but i think we're gonna hold off on that because we're gonna need some straight fittings for that side so i'm gonna have to make a run or order them online but you guys can see i got kind of everything pretty much mocked in for the most part um this one's still a little bit loose right here just because they're gonna end up pulling probably this one back off so we can get the other fitting on the other side but you guys can see how it lands comes across nice and clean neat but also serviceable you want to make sure everything's serviceable when you guys are doing this stuff because if you ever got to pull the tank, uh, whatever, do some kind of maintenance to it, that's my thing is, uh, I gotta pull that zip tie off there. I was using that for mock-up, but I come across here. I might even put another clamp right here. I'm not sure. But what I also did do, you can see this guy right here, I made, I put these clamps right here. So these are really meant to come on and off. If you look, it comes right off. So what that does, it's going to allow some serviceability so whenever you got to let's say you got to drop this tank right here you got to lower the tank you got to pull the fuel lines what happens when you do that the lines are always tight and everything else like that so with that right here if you pull these off it'll give you some slack and now you can drop the tank and don't have to worry about lines pinching or getting all tight and everything else on you but you guys can see everything's out of the way out of the suspension make sure you guys do that when you guys are doing these nothing's going to interfere with the suspension 
but like i said i'll probably put one more right here just to kind of make sure that's nice and secure but like i said we're going to end up pulling these clamps back off we got to put nuts behind them and then i got to wait on the fuel pressure regulator because i don't have enough fittings for these lines i'm going to have to order a few of those but we'll continue on in the next video two hours later guys you think he called us back i think he called us back we're going to try him again real quick and maybe we'll pretend we're the warranting company yeah what's up bro Hey, Ladarius, what up, man? What's up, man? What's going on, dude? That's too bad, bro. You you must have knew it was me because I was about to tell you I was your car warranting company. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, he, he knew it was me already. That's too bad. I was going to hit him up with the old car warranty company. How you doing, bro? Good, man. How you doing, man? Where you at? You in what? South Carolina? Yep, South Carolina. What time is it over there? Oh yeah, you you good. I was like, man, it might be early, but it's a little early my time. It's it's late it's lunchtime, your time, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on, yeah. right on. Hey, well, actually, I was calling you because uh, um, you you're a winner, bro. Oh shit, I won harness. Yeah, man, you got the LS Swap package, bro. Damn, damn. Yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. You know what's funny is I was sitting there, I was looking at your invoice, and I was looking at your orders, man, and there's no phone number for you. I'm like, oh, my God, how are we going to get a hold of this man? And that's why I had to trick you, man. I was like, hey, there was a little issue with your orders and stuff like that. That's why I had to get your number to give you a call, man. Appreciate it, man. So what did, what did you actually buy for the giveaway, uh, if you don't mind me asking? I bought um, a keychain, and I bought a... Uh... Bottle opener, I believe. Oh, keychain in the bottle. That was it, huh? Yeah, that was it. Man. That is awesome. You know, it's funny because I was looking at your orders. I'm like, man, he bought a lot of stuff, but actually, you bought stuff like in the past. You know what I mean? Yeah, yep. Yeah. So I bought a, a rear balance from you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was looking. I was like, man, he's been supporting the channel. He's been supporting, you know, the the website for a long time. So I'm so glad that you won in a sense too. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, thanks, man. That's thanks. awesome, man. That's awesome. What are you working on? What car you got? Uh, I'm guessing the Chevelle. Yep, seventy one Chevelle. Seventy one. What 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 state is it in right now? What are you working on right now? I'm actually working on the engine right now. Are you really? Do you got you got yep. the LS? I'm hoping. Yep, LS. Yep. Nice. And you don't have your harness yet, right? Nope. Don't have oh, perfect, huh? Perfect. That's awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. So like I said, we're going to get you the harness. We're going to get you the ECU and everything. Um, so what you can do for me is uh, shoot me an email. You got my email. Shoot me an email with your specs. And then I'm going to have the guys over at PSI give you a call. And then that way we get you spec'd out. Do you have your tranny and everything? Yeah, I have everything. You do? Okay, perfect. Man, that's awesome. That's perfect. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, so send me a few pictures when you get a chance, man. I'd love to see your project. And then along with that, man, hey, save my number. If you got any questions, you come up with any issues, man, you hit me up, all right? All right, thanks, man. Hey, yeah, congrats again, man. I'll get a hold of you, okay? All right, bro. All right, take it easy. Bye. Right. Nice, guys. Yes, sir. That is so freaking cool, man. Yeah, Ladarius looks like he's been buying stuff from us for a long time now. And all he did was bought a, a bottle opener and a keychain, dude. That's crazy. That's amazing. That, I'm so glad for him. But uh, we're going to get him hooked up with PSI swap package. Uh, not to mention, uh, you know, got to help him out with the bill now, man. Especially another Chevelle. We got to get another Chevelle back on the road. But you guys already know, man. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And hit the bell for notifications. And stay wrenching.